Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half-hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting. Blessing. My eyes are watering today. We are going to get a look see at what your future self wants to say to you. What is it that your future higher self wants to say? We're going to flash forward here and get some messages from your future self. This is for all zodiac signs. Tell me, Spirit, what does the future have to say to the collective, please? What is the biggest message? What what would you like them to know about the future? Passion, dragon. Some of you could have been born in the year of the dragon. Some of you may be involved with someone that was born in the year of the dragon. The dragon is a reminder your strong will and fiery personality is also a symbol of passion and fire. You are being asked to practice self-control and to be cautious so your passions lead to do not lead you into trouble. The divine letting you know that some of you are very passionate people like myself. You feel very deeply like myself. And um, because of that, your passions may sometimes get you in trouble like my self. So your future self is letting you know right now that it's great to be passionate, but be careful because you do not want to walk yourself into the fire as we sometimes do, don't we? Your higher self in the future is saying, yo, be cautious. Don't get overzealous with your passions or don't allow your fiery personality or temper to stand in the way or cause unneeded drama and chaos. Some of you may be involved in situations sometimes that could be avoided, but because you are fiery. You may pop off or do things that cause unnecessary drama and your future self warning you against that. When there are questions you need assistance with, go inward. Sit with yourself, meditate on the question and ask for our help. Then trust your intuition as most often, the answer and guidance will be delivered to you intuitively. We are always with you. Always. The divine wanting you to know your higher self in the future. Want you, you know, wanting you to know that if there's any questions you have, if you feel as if you're struggling to find answers, you may want to meditate for 5-10 minutes a day. For me, meditation is... Uh, it is my safe place. It's my go-to. I have had many intuitive downloads. Sorry, guys, my fo my phone battery keeps dying today. Intuitive downloads that have led me to some very beautiful places to make some really great business decisions. Some of you in the future, you will be in a place where you are getting intuitive hits and actually making moves off them. Um, there are answers coming through your intuition right now that will help you in the future. Your future self wants you to know this. Your guides want you to know that moving through the next few months, the questions that you're, you're you know, really groveling with sit for five, ten minutes a day because you will find the answer through your intuition. Tell me, what does the collective's future self want them to know, please? What are the messages about the future? What does their higher self want them to know? Wealth of knowledge. Blessed ideas. One more, please. <clears throat> we got two more. Sacred spirit. What appears unstable may have great value if you look deeper. Overcoming challenges, a triumph will bring break, great changes. Let yourself be open to victory. Your future self wants you to know that you will overcome whatever challenges you're dealing with right now. There will be a triumph. Something that's very unstable in your life has great meaning. 
You may discover what that meaning is in the future. Allow your ideas to come to fruition as they are blessings. Connect to the knowledge of your soul to teach and help the world. You may be getting ideas on <clears throat> what you want to do, a new creative project, something that could help the collective, even if it's making candles, even, you know, if it's something that you feel like necessary, isn't necessarily helping the world, you have some idea inside of you just waiting to come out into, to um, come into fruition to help the collective and yourself. There's some wealth of knowledge waiting to come through your intuition, but you may be not in a balanced enough state to, you know, really get these messages as clear as you need to. Your, your future self asking you to act on your blessed ideas and act on your intuitive hits because it will take you far. Act on your passions. Tell me about the wealth of knowledge. Yeah, soul searching here, very important. The divine also asking you to use your head and not your heart. <clears throat> your higher self, want the messages here is that you may have to start cutting through the bullshit for you to actually see change in your life. Your, your ships are coming in. The messages from your higher self about your future is that with some soul searching, with some strategy, clear thinking, you may want to save your money right now. If you have extra money to save, start start stacking some cash because there's going to be an idea that may require you to have a little bit of cash flow. And so you want to be prepared, especially if you're trying to um, think of how to put a, a idea into action. If there's some blessed idea that you have had more recently than not, but you just haven't figured out a way to actually implement it, um, saving some money right now will be helpful for you in the future. You could have a lot of Virgo in your chart. A Virgo could be important to you over the next few months. <clears throat> Tell me, what are the messages that the collective's higher self has for them in love about the future? What does their future self want to say? Karmic ties. Karma, behaviors, people, or situations are playing a role in what's happening. Inner child wounding here. Um... The divine saying that sometimes you react out of a place of wounding um, your your higher self, letting you know that the things that are happening right now is all the karma. Moving into the future, you may understand why everything has happened the way it is. This unstable situation in your life may be in your love life. This is actually karma being paid off or something that your soul needed to learn here. There's some patterns that you may be in your higher self wants you to start working on inner child healing. It's going to help in your love life. It will help you. I always felt I had a higher calling in life. There's a connection here, guys, that your higher self wants you to know that has a bigger meaning, a higher calling. And moving into the next few months, you may start to understand exactly why you meant the person you have meant or the person that is about to come into your life. You all may have some kind of higher calling or bigger purpose, um, something that's much deeper than it may seem on on the exterior one of us is mad and angry and it's creating an energetic match stay conscious of this if possible try to help each other elevate your higher self want, wants you to real to know that if you're putting out sad energy angry energy it's affecting your twin it's affecting your counterpart and vice versa and there's something your future self has to say to you about this, about these karmic ties, about this connection. You may start to understand that <clears throat> when you're feeling a certain way, it affects the flow of love in your life. 
Um, your future self seems to know that it's time to heal inner child issues so you can start bringing in this happy Ten of Cups connection. By the middle of December, a lot of you, sad season, very important. So, you know, starting mid-November to mid-December, there will be a huge win. Scorpio, Scorpio season, big for you as well. You could be a Scorpio Sag cusp like myself. There's some kind of big win coming in, in the love department. Um, you're going through a rebirth, your lover's going through a rebirth, and the messages from your future self about this lover is simply, we needed to heal our, our wounds and break these karmic ties for us to fully be together and have this happy, balanced relationship. The messages from your future self, you know, very clear. Once you start healing inner child wounds and once you start breaking out of these karmic patterns or away from these karmic people, you're going to see tremendous change in this connection. Tell me, what does the collective's future self want to talk, say to them about love? What's happening in love in the future? <clears throat> that there was an unequal dynamic, you were getting crumbs. Some of you have changed. Some of you, there's a lot of closeness, sexual chemistry coming in in the future between you and this person. Yeah, moving, leaving behind what's familiar. You may be leaving behind what's familiar. Um, it, here in the next few months, your future self you know, wants you to know that um, leaving behind these karmic patterns in people will really serve you. You may meet someone that you have a lot of intimacy with, a lot of closeness with, but it's going to require you to leave behind um, a lot of this pain and betrayal. There could be a new beginning between you and a, a lover somewhere in the winter months before the start of the year of 2025 but it will require both of you um both of you will have to leave behind the things that are not serving you tell me about moving leaving behind what's familiar please you could be very burdened by that right now in the future, your intuition telling you that it's time to leave behind what's familiar, that someone is coming back from your past for some new beginning. It may be more around the start of the year, more towards Aquarius season. We do have Pluto moving into the sign of Aquarius. It will be affecting a lot of us and our lives. Um, it's leaving Capricorn and we will never see Pluto in Capricorn again in our lifetime. So there's a lot of changes to come, a lot of progression, community. You may meet someone in the community or this person from your past is coming back. But the divine and the, your higher self in the future saying no crumbs. If somebody is giving you crumbs, then that is a message that it's time to leave it behind. You could have a lot of Pisces or Aquarius in your chart. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. Love and light.